Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. So I just wanted to do a video on the significance of three in tarot. I think it's important that we also understand that. I know people shy away from the word tarot because they think it's so demonic and so evil when it's really not. It is very much so, it has a lot to do with spirituality. It has a lot of different symbolisms that include a lot of different things of spirituality, okay? So let's get into it. So you guys, the three of wands, the three of wands. The Three of Wands represents progress, expansion, foresight, and maybe even overseas opportunities. In this description of the card, you're waiting for your ships to sail in. You can see all that lies ahead, including challenges and opportunities. This card comes right after the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a waiting card. It speaks on planning for your future from a place of safety and comfort. This person's at their castle and they're all comfortable, but the Three of Wands it's putting that passionate opportunity into play. You are broadening your horizons through study, business enterprises, or travel and learning. You're now aware of your opportunities and the many more to come. You need to stretch outside your comfort zone because you know that your best hopes lie outside of your current environments. You need to dream bigger than what you think you are because you are in your own current limitations. So accept your vision with confidence. You see the challenges, changes, and obstacles ahead of you but you're ready and prepared for them ahead of time. So be adventurous and ready to seek and venture out into the unknown. The Three of Pentacles. It represents teamwork, collaboration, and learning and implementation. The description of this card is stonemason that's working with two architects to build a cathedral. He's inexperienced compared to them, but highly valued in work and in his opinion the master builder, AKA the specialist. This comes after the two of pinnacles, which speaks on juggling multiple priorities by yourself, the two of pinnacles. But the three of pinnacles shows that a lot can be accomplished through teamwork. No one is superior here because everyone's wisdom and knowledge is valued. Each person has something to offer and learn from each other through active listening and sharing. This is the implementation stage, just like the other threes and the other suits. You got the idea, then you got planned. Now it's time to implement. You're hitting milestones, yes, but you're nowhere near your finish line. So you just got the ball rolling, but you're making things happen. As you implement your plans, you will realize that you have the skills, capabilities, and resources you need to accomplish your goals. See this as you being on the right track, so keep going. Remember that adequate detail, preparation, and planning and organization are very important when you see this card. Very important role is project management. The Three of Swords. It represents heartbreak, emotional pain, sorrow, grief, or hurt. The description of this card is a heart pierced by hurtful words, actions, and intent on the emotional and physical self. Also notice how it's storming in the background. The Two of Swords speaks on making a decision or overanalyzing the truth. But the Three of Swords comes right after because it's facing your demons and why a decision was so hard to make in the first place. It's facing what truly hurts and what you're dis deeply disappointed about. Your heart has been pierced by sharp blades of someone's words, actions, and or intentions, which has inflicted emotions of pain, sadness, and grief. These events are often unexpected and come out the blue, which makes them even more painful. The Three of Swords is about emotional release. When you suffered a setback or loss, now is an excellent time to have a very good cry. Ex expressing your sadness is part of the healing process and it will help you move to better times. So allow yourself the opportunity to feel these emotions no matter how painful. Even if you have to cry, shout, or scream to the top of your lungs to flow these emotions through you and then out of you. This is all necessary. Please though, remember that don't get locked in the damage of everything. Focus on recovery. Heal from the past by forgiving yourself and others. Having compassion is very important, so you have to learn your lessons and bounce back. See the bigger picture through the lens of love. Heal. Remember to learn and forgive. Have compassion and let pain go. Heal. The 
The Three of Cups represents celebration, friendship, creativity, and collaborations. The description of this card is there are people dancing in a circle of celebration, raising their cups for a toast, representing lots and lots of friendships. So the Two of Cups speaks of a unified love and possible reconciliation. It's them as showing their cups, exchanging them as a commitment, also can mean a commitment to yourself, but usually a commitment to another person. So the Three of Cups comes to celebrate this commitment. It shows support from those who wish you higher levels of success. This card represents celebrations such as pregnancy, graduation, engagements, and represents those standing by one another through thick and thin. So you're encouraged when you see this card to gather with your closest friends and have a good time together, talking, laughing, sharing, and creating. Don't forget to create. This could be for a vacation or holiday season. This is a card to show you that it's time to enjoy life and to celebrate. Hi everybody, that was just a snippet of all four of the threes in tarot decks. That also lets you know that three times four is 12. What is one plus two? Three, oh my gosh. So anyways, I hope that information helped and blessed you guys. If anytime you get a three in your reading, just know what each definition means. I hope I conveyed those very well. You know, any information that I can help, I will. So I hope this information truly, truly helped, healed and blessed. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.